Left of the box. Here's the state of where we are right now with our federal candidates. All of our major leaders are underwater. So all the NDP, the liberals and conservatives have net unapproval ratings. That's where we are. That's where we are. How did we get here when nobody wants any of the leaders that are in power? And this is why, you know, again, there's such a, there's such a need to make sure that there's people in place that we want to vote for. There needed to be a leadership race for the NDP and it needed to be open so that anyone who is part of the NDP could have run for it. Instead, they make them financially inaccessible to a lot of people. And then they do all their little shenanigans behind the scene to ensure that the person the inner brass wants gets elected. But like, how bad is it when all of them have a negative approval rating, like a net negative approval rating right now? Like down here, it was really bad for the conservatives. That's when we had Brian Mulroney in and he had to step down back in the early 90s. And then, of course, Stephen Harper back here really dropped it down. Funny how the conservatives always tend to get the lowest. <laughs> like lowest there, there, and even here back in the 20, 2020. Um, lower than any of the other parties. But, you know, now the liberals are catching up. We need a party in Canada people actually are engaged with or energetic about. This is ridiculous, especially when we have so many people within the NDP that would be such amazing leaders. And if they could actually get into leadership and start making the party what the base wants, then all the other parties would become moot because a lot of the policies that the NDP want to put in place, like the ones that I'm talking about, the members I'm talking about, would benefit everyone, even conservatives. It would benefit you. Conservatives, like, imagine that. Policies that would actually help improve the quality of your life, help improve, you know, affordability. And if we had NDP people that could get in and actually implement the things they promised, we'd never vote for another party. Ah, like the only way another party could get back in power is through manipulation and corruption and um, circumventing and all that sort of stuff. Uh, similar with like some South American countries, like once they have the good leaders in, the bad leaders do get back in, but they do so in very sketchy ways until uh, they can overturn that. And it'd be no different here. Like if they, if we actually got the policies and it benefits everyone and it would, then why would we vote for anyone else? Because all that woke stuff, all that, you know, culture war stuff, the coffee lids, people will stop caring about that you know, if they start getting government in where they no longer have to worry about paying for medication, they actually get the health care they need. You know, they actually can afford rent. They have a basic livable income, all that sort of stuff. Nobody would give a fuck about paper lids.